What's up boys? Today I'm going to be showing off a little bit of a gold farming strategy in Pathfinder Gallowspire's survivors. You want the rogue as your main, probably the warrior as your secondary since he has slightly lower damage and you need to get the kills with your main character. And then you're going to want a lot into rogue's luck. One point in this will unlock a new chest passive which is required and then you just get more gold for higher levels than that. And then mobility is also pretty helpful so you can run in between chests. If there's stuff that doesn't really help, like Caltrops or Poison Smoke, you might want to avoid that since that will make it harder to get the stuff that you want. And you can see I'm pretty far into the game, but there's still a lot of stuff in here I don't have fully upgraded. So it takes a ton of gold to get everything in here. My potions aren't even close to maxed either, and I'm pretty in-game, so let's go in. And then... The bosses for 1, 3, and 4 all have long intermission or immunity phases, so I think you probably want to go library here, and hyper mode is much faster if you can handle it. So there's two different chest passives that I'm looking for. Increased chance to get chests from elite enemies. Let's see, probably Howling Blizzard, but these are pretty weak, so maybe I'll just reroll. If I could get Fireball, that's actually the best spell for the Rogue. Probably just take some Great Axe on him. So, for the Rogue, he has piercing shots on his projectiles, and every enemy the Fireball passes through causes another explosion. So it causes massive AoE damage on him, and that's why Fireball is by far the best weapon on him. So, I'll probably just take Eldritch Master here, that's an okay roll, and that will affect all of the weapons for him. And then you actually do not want to get the XP Shrines, because the faster you max out your warrior's weapons, the faster he'll start getting gold as a reward from the chest. I don't think I want any of these. Chanted Shots is pretty good, because it causes the Fireball to deal more damage for every enemy pierced through. So you've got huge hordes, and then enemies just get absolutely obliterated by that. Howling Blizzard has some okay AoE. And it's another spell to go with Eldritch Master. Hopefully I get the chest-based stuff soon, so I can start farming those. Improved Critical is pretty good, so I'll grab that. Multiplies the crit chance and the crit damage, so... Huge scaling there. I don't think I care about any of that. Probably just grab some Fireball. So I don't care about any of that. Lucky, there we go. Increased chance to find chests. And you can also put that on your companion, but from what I can tell, it only applies to the person getting the killing blow. So you want to put it on just one person and then make sure that person is getting all of the kills to maximize it. Uh, Frostbite's another spell, I can lock that in. And then we get a chest there with the improved chance. A lot of upgrades there. I think I saw a chest at the towards the bottom right before I got that. Uh, probably just Eldritch Master that applies to everything here. Proved Critical is okay, but these are kind of low. Chanted Shots is pretty good. Lightning Bolt is the last spell, and now all of my attacks are locked in. Pop smoke screen for a bit of extra crit chance, I think it is there, to nuke the elite down, more fireball. And then there's one other passive that I'm really looking for, which is improved chance to get higher rarities from chests. Which is, I think, the rogue only passive, and then that will help you max out your stuff a bit faster, and then you'll start getting gold from every chest, like that. So I guess my companions maxed out and just got me like an extra 5k plus gold there, pretty crazy. Use my speed potion to get over there a bit faster. Probably reroll that. Still no luck on the chest passive. Howling Blizzard has some okay AoE. Oh, that's an XP shrine, don't want to grab that. So huge gold for every chest on my companion now.
I have no rerolls left, so just take some enchanted shots to pump up Fireball. Probably Howling Blizzard. Maybe Frostbite's better since that's a ray attack, so it's scaling with the enchanted shots. Huge gold there. Wow, that's actually even crazier than I expected. Use the speed pot to get over here a bit faster. Probably Frostbite since it's a ray attack. So unfortunately, I'm not getting the second chest thing, even though I use all my rerolls. And I have a bunch of stuff maxed already. There we go. 13% chance to get better loot and upgrades from chests. I'm actually pretty far along, but I still get some decent value out of it. Oh, that's the XP thing. Keeps debating me. Take all the chest related stuff as soon as possible. And then I have one more passive left over, so you could probably get a damage or a survivability thing. Some survivability might be nice, especially if you're playing on the highest difficulty. But I think there's also one other passive that would work. You could either get increased XP. That might be a wizard only thing, but you could get the increased potion drop chance and that would help you get more of the blue potions that collect all of the XP on the floor. And that would help you get a few more levels and then you might get another one or two chests that give all gold later on. Even a crappy white chest like that over a thousand gold, not too bad. I'm gonna wait and see if there's anything related to like XP. Like I could still get the potion finder, maybe. Just gonna focus all of the chests everywhere. Avoid the XP stuff. Uh, you could actually grab that early on, and that would help you re-roll into the chest-based stuff. I know I did pass that a few times. Not bad for a white chest. Get a few more collectibles and something still far away from having all of those. And then the rogue also has the huge movement speed. Allowing you to pick up and farm a lot more collectibles and stuff. So I guess I will try that. That'll help me get some more of the blue potions that collect everything. I'm not sure if it'll make a huge difference or not though. Whee! Lucky treasure hunter. I suppose the one that improves the rarity is slightly better because that also affects the chests that are on the ground, whereas the other one only applies to killing elites. Big upgrades there, huge money, should be getting pretty far along on these now. Treasure Hunter. I think there was a blue potion over there, but I'm moving so fast. It's kind of hard to see stuff. Oh, that guy messed up my chest tracking over here. Uh, probably Treasure Hunter first. And then at least I know it was somewhere over here. 
then it looks like it can even upgrade the gold you find as well. Big treasure hunter. Big chest up here. I'll run around a little bit, see if I can get close to another chest. I do have a lot of movement speed. There's one down here. Well, blue potion still helps. It's a pretty big increase. So last floor to far last floor to farm, excuse me, before the boss now. Got the gold upgraded, nice. And I believe you can do this on any difficulty. I'm not aware of difficulty increasing the gold rewards or anything. I believe it allows you to get more of the collectibles if you don't have all of those. But you're mainly just looking to farm the chest before the bosses anyways. And now I'm almost maxed out, only two skills left. Yeah, I think the XP thing might be wizard only for his reduced XP passive. Not too bad for farming the cards either, with all the movement speed. Big upgrades, huge money. I forgot to go over my passive stats that I have on the rogue. I have int max for spell damage, dex max for survivability, constitution also for survivability, and then the rest of my points are in wisdom for the cooldown reduction, which I don't have maxed yet. And then after that you would go for charisma for more area on fireball and stuff. But I am very far away from maxing out rogue. Use the speed pot and get up here. Huge money now, looks like all of my stuff is maxed as well. And some of them randomly get upgraded to even more gold. Now that I think about it, if you just wanted to absolutely max your gold at the cost of everything else, you would probably skip the boss here. I'm gonna pop my ultimate, get some more damage and survivability on this guy. Just pure gold every time now. Rogue is one of the highest damage classes due to all of the AoE and ramping damage with the fireball and their passives related to that as well. Even the white chests are pretty good now at some points. I'm not seeing any chests. 
I might have gotten all of them on the level, huh? Oh, you could get the movement speed passive, actually, to help you farm that stuff. I think that's actually one of the better ones now. I normally don't take that. I'm gonna run around a bit, and then once all three of them come out, I'm gonna pop my ult and my potions instantly. So here we go. Pop everything so I have big survivability and damage, and just burst them down. Pretty quick. Get a bunch of cards every time you kill a boss, and then a little bit of extra gold. 10k, 7, 8k, not too bad. So 306,000 gold, jeez. You can see the stats, Fireball is nuts, Howling Blizzard is some okay AoE, but... It's really all about the firewall there. Important for the companion to not kill too much because it's dependent on whoever has the passives. So here's the stats. You can see I'm not even close to maxed out. Wisdom and Charisma are both pretty helpful still. And Strength gives a little bit of survivability also. So it's not terrible. Don't really have anything there. None of those are done yet. And then you get a ton of money. Time to open chests actually helps out a little bit with the strat, so I don't mind pushing that. Maybe I should level some potions a bit. The essence is kind of helpful for that, so I'll just finish that one off. Drop chance helps a bit with leveling as well. What are these potions? That does help a little bit. What else is there? Damage, I can wait on that. HP, armor. Darkness, I actually don't really know what that does. Decreased time to track new objects is actually pretty helpful for farming chests. And then you can see I'm already out of that money. Let's do one more to show how consistent it can be. And I'll also try with the movement speed passive this time since that sounds pretty funny. So prioritize the chest, fireball, purple, perfect, probably crossbow. So the main things I'm looking for here are the two chests and fleet to farm even more chests. Enchanted shots is Fine for damage. Oh, one other thing that might be useful. Let's take the lightning bolt here. The wizard has a passive where he has increased looting radius. So you might actually want him to as the companion. Uh, I don't think I care about any of that. Howling Blizzard's okay. So if you have the wizard as your companion, you can actually loot stuff from slightly further away. Eldritch Master. Don't think I want any of that. Eldritch is fine. Pop this speed pot and get up there a bit faster. Frostbite. I think with just one spell and no passives, he's not going to do that much damage anyways. So I think Wizard is definitely worth a try as the companion. If you have decent levels and his increased pickup radius. Fleet, there we go. That'll help me pick up stuff. And now I'm zooming. It's actually kind of hard to control that on hyper mode. XP shrine, nope. XP shrine, nope. Pop my ultimate and burst this dude down. 
Treasure Hunter. Fantastic. Got both of them now. Oh, you can get that, actually. Um, my damage is going to be pretty low, but I'm going to try that for the Mega Greed build here. I think the wizard has some other XP-related passive that they unlock then. Maybe, like, reduced requirement to level up or something. Or maybe you just get more XP for every essence that drops. I don't really remember. Oh, uh, it was on the UI, so it was kind of hard to see there. Grab the... Actually, let's just reroll for higher rarity. Perfect. Grab the fireball. Big treasure hunter. Where are the chests at? Treasure hunter. I'm not seeing any chests. Did I get them all? Eldritch probably out of those. Just going for the passives that improve fireball. Enchanted shots. Can I see this dude? He's maxed out. I'm not sure if there's anything useful you can get at those, but I'm just going to play it safe and not take them. Oh, there's a chest up here. It's trying to bait me into the XP shrine. <laughs> Treasure hunter. So I guess I got all the chests because I'm so fast here. Treasure hunter. So I may as well just move on. Looks like I got all the cards on that level as well. And now I'm zooming! Essence extraction, I think. Get a little bit of XP there. That'll go nicely with all the blue potion upgrades I just got as well. Treasure Hunter. Essence extraction into a legendary chest over here. Lucky, another one. Essence extraction. Zoom over to the other chest that just spawns. XP shrine, nope. Lucky, I could reroll these. Eldritch is fine. Reroll these. Reroll again. Oh well, essence extraction. Big lucky. Pop my ult to burst that guy down. Essence extraction. So I should max out pretty quickly with the extra XP here. And then the shrines are even easier to farm with the extra movement speed as well. But it's a mega greed build. So you do need to have a certain amount of base power to be able to pull this off with almost no combat passes. Essence Extraction. 
Looks like there aren't any chests. Oh, here's one. It was just taking a while to appear there. Lucky. More cards to collect. Grab all of that before I go on fleet so I can run around faster. I think there was a card up here somewhere, right? Yeah. And I have plenty of movement speed. That looks like everything for this level. Other than the companion shrines, which I don't want. So, last floor before the boss. I must be getting close to max now. With all the extra XP and the better blue potions. Essence. Are there no cards on this level? Uh, essence there, more levels. I guess there's a lot of white chests this time, so a lot less levels for a chest focus build. Get the essence. More fleets. Okay, so we only have three left now, so that should be doable. Almost max out now. Pop the potion for some extra speed. Nope. Looks like all of the chests are gone now. And I'm not even maxed yet. Kind of strange this time. Looks like all of the collectibles are done now as well. Oh, there's one. Got an elite, pop my ultimate here to blast him down. Well, a legendary chest off him, that should be some big money. Oh, fleet is not even close, apparently. <laughs> I don't really seem to be dropping that many chests from the elites either, even though I have pretty high chance for that. Got some okay money now. Yeah, it seems like this one's actually going to end up being less gold, even though I had a greedier strategy. So it looks like there will be quite a bit of RNG 
for how much you actually end up with at the ends. But I'm so fast, there's no way they could ever hit me. Pop the ultimate and the potions. And there we go. More free cards. More monies. Wow, that was almost half as much. That's kind of crazy how much RNG affects it there. Fireball, massive damage on the rogue with all the piercing stuff. Actually, like to reroll these until you get the bonus attributes or skill points on them. Usually it doesn't cost that much and it helps you max out your characters a bit faster. A little bit more wisdom for cooldown. Talents, probably not enough for anything super good there. But I can level a lot more potions now. Speed would actually help out a little bit with that. Cooldown, evasion are both eh. Probably just take some more collectibles now. Potions will help out with XP a little bit since you'll have the blue potion lasting longer. But I'm still not even close to having everything maxed out even though I just got like half a million gold across those two runs. But yeah, the strategy is pretty effective. If you like that and want to see more stupid builds, don't forget to toss me a like or a subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.